You already know. Peace, love, and light. I want to show y'all something in this Bruce Lee video. Bruce Lee, Real Fight Channel. That's the title. <laughs> Check this out, folks. I'm going to press play. Real? You see that? Is he the real deal or fake? I'll bring it back. About ten Bruce Lee real fight. Nobody knows. Many people of. Pay attention to the ask thing flying across the room. Bring it back again. Fight channel. Today we are going to talk about ten Bruce Lee real fight. Nobody knows. Many people often ask, "Can Bruce Lee fight for real?" See the thing fly across the room. Is he the real deal or fake? Now watch. Of ten Bruce Lee real fight, nobody knows. Many people often ask, "Can Bruce Lee fight for real? Is he the real deal?" Bring it back again. Welcome to Bruce Lee real fight. Going to talk In this video, I'm gonna let you know it's it's at 14 seconds, and it's been a lot of talk back when Bruce Lee used to do filming. Oh, he was so fast; they had to slow the cameras down, and it's <laughs> oh wow, no. <laughs> Excuse me, folks. But understand that. They're talking about he had to slow the camera down and his hands were like a blur and all that. No, no, no. No, they were compensating for his shape shifting. Now, press play. Here we go. Pay attention. Fight, nobody knows. Many people often ask, can Bruce Lee fight for real? And you see the thing fly across the screen? I'm going to bring it back again. And he threw horns up at the guy's face. And I'm going to show you the screenshots. Today we are going to talk about Watch this. Now look at that, folks. Okay? Now I'm going to zoom in on that. Does that look like a distortion of the camera? I'm going to show you. That's a whole freaking face on his hand. Let's hold that tight. And I'm going to pull down some light. Bring it back out. And now press play. People often ask, can Bruce Lee fight for real? Is he the real deal or fake? Was he just an actor? One more time. Real fight, nobody knows. Many people often ask, can Bruce Lee fight for real? Is he the real deal or fake? Was he just an actor? All right. Now let's go to the screenshots, gang. Let's get to the business. Shout out to Mary Magdalene. She inspired me to do this type of video from her channel. She did a lot of shape-shifting entities, creatures. <clears throat> Here we go. Okay. Well, we're just going to go in line. Uh, excuse me. This is the first one, the thing that flew across the screen. Zoom in a little more. You see it flew right across this guy's body. Pull down some light. Just all demonic activity. Normal light. See that, folks? Demonic energy. That thing looks like some type of serpent, lizard, or, or, or creature. Now I got it super zoomed in. I'm going to pull down the light and see if we can maintain the focus. There we go. I mean, you can see the, the, the geometry in it. That it has a head. What we know to be a head. Okay. There it is on a full shot. And on the video, I showed you it flew across the screen super fast. Actually had to slow the video down just to catch it. I mean, I caught it when I was watching it, but the actual like screenshot it, I had to go into the settings and then uh, slow it down.
Look at that. You can see it almost looks like it has detail on the body of it. I see a, a dot, a dot, a dot, and then what looks to be a dorsal fin. And then the head. And um, while we're here, I'll take you into Bruce Lee's hand shape-shifting. Now, folks that understand and, and know, especially the, the biblical tales and the historical tales of, of things that were written, a lot of these fallen ones, a lot of these creatures, their hands were like claws. They actually had like a whole nother entity on the edge of their hand and would have a regular hand on the other one, like a whole nother head on a hand. With a claw, a mouth, and everything. It's plenty of movies, cartoons that depict this. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be like you never heard this before. But that's one of the shape ships of the hand right there. You can see his watch is right here, and this is the his hand, which morphs into some type of creature. Now I'm gonna zoom out. Move on to the next. More of the same. The creature that flew across the actual room they were in. Another shape shift of his hand. Okay, I'll let the focus catch up. Yes, that's supposed to be his hand right here, y'all. You see his suit jacket right here. And then if we like really, really go in, you can see all types of entities and beings around him like angelic beings that come out and try to like stop this stuff. There's another one in the corner over here because they know these people are using demonic energies. And here's another one of the other hand. Look, that appears to be a thumb. But why does it look like that? Why does it look like his thumb has a horn on it and a mouth? Now I'm going to let the focus catch up to show you like this is not a fluke. That you can see like teeth and everything. It's shining so bright. It's hard for my camera to even pick it up. But we're going to get it. Moving on. That one's giving me some difficulty. Let the focus catch back up. And I'll take you into his face also. You can see his shape shifting and changing. It looks like his for his hair slid back off his forehead. But I have better shots and we're gonna move forward. Okay, this is another one of the hand shape shifting. Let the focus catch up. There we go. And we're gonna zoom in on his hand. I'm going to pull down the light. There it is. And then the mouth. Creature's face. And let's see if we can pick up that other hand. This is way better. You see how it's angled? It looks like some type of lizard or crazy looking creature. It's no coincidence, folks. I mean, it almost looked like you could see like teeth right here, which would be like the web of his hand in between his fingers. It's crazy, folks. There we go. Super zoom in. Pull down some light. Peace, love, and light. Going to move on. This one is going to be crazy, folks. Because look, look at his hand and what it morphed into. There's the eyes, the nose. Crazy looking mouth coming off the bottom. Looks like he's holding like a, de a demonic head in his hand. 
Can't make it up. Look at that. Unbelievable. And I'll zoom the picture out to show you where that is. And you still can see it. I'll zoom it out more. And you still can see it. To a regular person watching this, like the regular video just on YouTube, they might be like, oh, that's just distortion or, you know, blase this, blase that. Oh, it's just old camera technology. It couldn't keep up with him moving. Bullshit. You see anything else in this video that looks distorted? I'll zoom in on the whole creature that's coming off his hand. You see his suit jacket right here. There's no symbolism of a human hand here at all. Just a demonic face. Eyes, nose, mouth, and everything. Okay, moving on. Seeing is believing. And this is where he threw the horns up. He threw the horns up at the guy's face before he was about to make his move. That's a, that's, that is all a, just a distraction. If you're a fighter, it's something called faints. You faint somewhere and then you go somewhere else. It's misdirection. That's all it is. That's what these people specialize in misdirection and you see the you see the face clearly you see the horns and this was his supposed to be his fingers he was actually throwing up that hand symbol the horns like 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 uh, um at rock concerts people throw up that hand symbol but they don't really know what it means they don't know what type of negative energy that they're invoking. <clears throat> so before Bruce Lee made his move, he threw horns at this guy's face as a distraction because people that fight and are in martial arts know that's what we do. We we throw a, a, a kick or a punch somewhere else and then go to another part of the body. While you're blocking that part of your body or thinking something's coming there, we hit you in another area. It's just misdirection and the science of fighting. But this is the crazy creature that's protruding off his suit jacket out of his arm. Okay? Now I'm going to pull down a light and take you into the face of a demon. Seeing is believing. I see everything. A friend of mine sent me this video because we were having a debate about Bruce Lee and I'm, you know, I don't revere any human beings or like or so-called celebrities or stars or athletes they don't mean a thing to me you know and, I, and then he tried to send me videos to like i guess disprove like what he was saying that bruce lee was supposed to be the greatest martial artist ever cut it out stop playing and there's that demonic face again that's on his hand i don't even need to manipulate the light it's just there. And then I'll pull it out to show you. Look, Bruce Lee. Didn't, and that's supposed to be his hand. Y'all tell me, does that look like a hand coming out of his cuff of his jacket and, and a dress shirt? And then look at his face demonically change. Black eyes and everything. Shout out Bob Kazi. He just sent me some some pictures of people with black eyes, lizard faces. I, I mean, whoo, unbelievable stuff. That's gonna be coming up on subscriber picks though, for sure. Okay, zoom back out. Let's get it together. Okay, pull the light back to normal. Let the focus catch up. And even at this distance, you still can see that same anomaly. Let's take a look, folks. This is people's idol. <laughs> this is who they worship. But you got to understand, there's all types of demons attached to these entities, to these so-called humans. Better wake up. You see it. I mean, goddamn, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the, the the head. 
just manifestations. And look at this heavy blur that's around it. That's not part of the backdrop. The backdrop's a curtain. Let's go back to all the way up to the picture right here. Full shot. Focus in. Hold it still. That's people's idols holding a demonic head that's manifesting off his off his hand. Are, are, are you kidding me? There it is. Mm, moving on. Screenshot of the demonic entity that possessed Bruce Lee, the dragon. That's what they called him. People don't understand where you are. Everything here reflects or, or, or says devil, Satan, Lucifer, the names of schools, the names of buildings, the, the names of mountain ranges, the names of certain parts of the world, the devil's triangle, devil's bluff, the devil's plateau, the Duke blue devils, like everything here is devil. That's for a reason, people, because this is not earth. This is hell. And I'm here to tell you, tell you wake up. The lights go out. You realize where you are. No such thing as earth. My challenge still stands. Show me a real picture of earth. Can't find one. All CGI and computer generation and artist, artist reconception. And that's Bruce Lee's hand right there, folks. See it? That's the other part of his hand. Are you kidding me? Now, I'm going to zoom in. Do you see how whatever he's wearing on his body is like it's coming from his navel or his behind his dress shirt? Some type of technology. But that's really his hand. Take a look. See it for yourself. That's the face of a demon and a creature. People better wake up out here worshiping these fallen creatures. And that's a close up screenshot of the creature. I'm just going to hold that in there and let it vibrate. I mean, it looks like the head of a, 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 a lizard. I mean, you can see detail in the mouth, the bones and the ridges. Like, come on. And you always can pause and screenshot and stare at it for yourself. It is what it is. Moving on. Again, another demonic entity manifesting from Bruce Lee's hand. <laughs> oh, and then look at his face. Dead eyes, see no future. You see him? Wings, body, and his head is right here. I'm going to zoom in on it and show you. Take you into his eyes and everything. Seeing is believing. See his eyes? One, two, face, head. I pull out. You'll see the wings. Look at that. You could look right into his eyes. Tell him Riz sent you. They know me. That's supposed to be a hand. You better look up these ancients that once walked this earth. That they had padded feet, that had technology and springs in them. They had hands that called chompers, meaning they had six fingers on one hand and a claw on the other to reach out, grab you. But wake up. Shout out to Mary Magdalene. She, this is her her picture. She did, a, well, I took a screenshot of her video. And of course, she was exposing 
the the Masonics uh, uh, um, fraternity and sorority. Black and white and the spiral is their symbolism. The checkered board is their symbolism. But I, I noticed something on, on, on this motorcycle right here. The guy has his foot up on the peg right here. Because I can see the shine off the tip of his boot. But when I zoom in, it looks like a whole entity just laying up under the bike. And then we have another one right here that looks like some type of ancient snake being from like the Mayan era. I mean, look at the markings on his face. I can't make this up, people. People will say, well, Dan, that's just the oil. That's just the oil uh, uh, tank on the side. And it's just reflecting and making these things. Well, why is it making an eye that has a slit in it like a serpent? And accentuated dark circles around the eye. It looks like to be wearing like makeup or have like some type of stripe on his face like a warrior. I'm going to let the focus catch up. There we go. Seeing is believing. I'll let you look into his eye also. I mean, you clearly can see the nostrils of the entity and everything. Here's his other eye right here. And it's very consistent with this pattern of the dark circle. And I'll take you to this entity right here. That's laying right up under the guy. I'm going to hold that in there to show you. His eye is shining. It has a face. Here's his hand. And its body. Shape-shifted, blent perfectly in to the side of this motorcycle. Yeah, folks, seeing is believing. But I'm, a, I'm a, we're gonna ride this video out, and I'm gonna show you how how your idols that you worship that I tell you you shouldn't, because you're just giving them all types of energy, and they're parasitic. Number one movie in the, in the whole country or in the world right now is a movie from South Korea called Parasite. Okay, think that's by accident. At the at the dog show, a dog a dog one, I think his name is uh, I forget the name of the dog, but you can Google it, Google the meaning of it, the definition of the name. Everything they do is by purpose and meaning. It's never by accident. Never. And we're just gonna hold that in there, face of the demon. I had a black and white shot, but I don't think it came across on the Bluetooth. But that's that's perfectly fine, though. Peace, love, and light. Shout out to all my new subscribers. Welcome to a wild ride. I don't make anything up. Seeing is believing. And I would never knock what you believe. Peace, love, and light.